What's going on, cryptocurrency universe? It's the Bitcoin miner here, guys. And today we're going to recap about the warehouse and lessons learned and see if we can't, uh, you know, teach you guys a little bit about the things that we did, mistakes that we made, and things that you may be able to learn from. The next evolution in decentralized tech is here. Verus is a truly free, open source blockchain protocol designed for privacy, safety, open participation, and unlimited scalability. Decentralized financial and communications tech that can scale to a new internet of value and data exchange. Build with us, Verus. Truth and privacy for all. Learn more and join the conversation on Discord. The first one is, uh, let's do a little bit of a history. We've got this guy up and running about uh, the summer of 2017 is when we finally got it all up and running. Uh, you guys can look for the video in the description. I'll put a description in where we installed the AC system, how we got the warehouse all prepped and done, and installed this into a flex space. We also had to upgrade the power as well, um, which you know we basically brought it up to a 400 amp service. So we have a 400 amp service here. We got it up and running in the summer of 2017. And during that time, we have the capability of running about 80 machines. Uh, so we had some growth locations planned for over here. Uh, and everything really was going well, as you know, in 2017. And our goal was to mine as much crypto as possible and sell only what was necessary and as well and try to you know stockpile crypto while it was in the early days. We know that it's technically in its its, its infant stages, uh, and with that in mind, we would only sell what was needed to pay for the bills and then retain the rest in crypto. Well, this is lesson number one, guys. Uh, unfortunately, the the market is not always up. Uh, the warehouse did technically pay for itself within the first six months. Uh, by the first of 2018, as you know, Ethereum was $1,200. Uh, we were mining Ethereum, we were mining Ethereum Classic, we were also mining Nexus. Nexus also hit $15 in January. So just in that run up alone, we were able to recoup the money if we had actually sold. Uh, again, this was the thought was, <laughs> don't be blind, uh, crypto is not going to continue to go up forever. There are going to be some ups and downs in crypto winners, as we just learned. It can get really rough. And when we were designing and building the location and thinking about it, uh, the prior six years, I've been crypto mining for probably much, I really started in 2011, but I stopped and got back into it in 2015. Long story there, you can watch some of my other videos and learn more um, as we continue. But the, so the thought was is to hold on to it and as the market kept going down and down, uh, we were selling more and more from the reserves to pay the bills until eventually the crypto winner uh, really has hurt the our reserves drastically. Uh, and hopefully the market's coming back or already has come back by the time you see this. So lesson one out of this is to take profit when you see it. Just like the stock market. You see profit, you take profit. Uh, there is no holding for this and that you can risk and gamble but it is a risk and we learned the hard way unfortunately and it's been in crypto winter ever since now lesson two uh you can also think about mining different things uh with your equipment you want to diversify don't go with a single product because and this was very handy for us is like we use the ethereum and ethereum classic as our core bread and butter and those were running on the and the AMD mesh cards, which the bulk of this is AMD. And over here we have 10 1080 Ti six card rigs, and those are usually what we put on speculative, more speculative coins. And we know it as a spec mining. And when you're uh, speculation mining, we were doing uh, at that time we were doing Nexus, and we also got onto Raven recently when Raven re uh, reached. And you've got to sell on the spikes. Uh, Raven, Raven got up to, you know, you're mining it at two cents, and I think it got up to 20, 25 cents or so. And that's really the, the key, is you've got to mine, build a bag, follow the spikes. There's always going to be pumps on any coin that has any use uh, purpose, and keep that in mind. So, 
You know, you sell on the spikes, don't retain too much of it. You can always buy it back when it falls back down. Now, I, there is going to be a point, I do believe, where crypto is going to get a foundation and take off and probably not look back. Now, unfortunately, I thought that time was earlier. It may do that. We may still see a time where the strategy that we did, mine as much, hold as much, would pay off. Um, but we were in the wrong time frame. So these are all things you need to learn and think about as you're uh, planning your next warehouse and considering doing mining. So mining can be very profitable, and there's several ways of playing the game. Uh, you can play it, like I said, speculation mining, where you mine and hold, where you mine like Bitcoin. Bitcoin, you don't mine and hold. You liquidate every day, uh, every other day. So you want to realize that profit right away with Bitcoin mining uh, for several reasons. Yes, you can hold 10 20% and try to ride the wave if we're in an uptrend. Uh, if we're in a downtrend, you want to sell it as fast as possible. So these are things to think about, and it also depends on where you judge your your success at. Uh, are you judging your success on U.S. dollars, or are you going to judge your success on crypto mined? So that's really depending on your end goal. When you're dealing with investors, they are thinking U.S. dollars. Uh, so those are things to keep in mind. And if you have a much longer time frame uh, than what we were considering, which is a three-year lease here, you may be able to uh, prolong it. Three years may not have been long enough. So you might want to think five, six years, even eight years out and have strategy plans to pay for power, uh, ways to pay for rent, or lesson number three, don't rent a location, buy it. If you have enough money to do something like this, buy the location. You have no rent, you have no overhead. Then the only major overhead you're gonna have is going to be your power. Then you have to focus on getting the cheapest power possible. Where can you obtain it? And not only if you can get the cheapest power, you need to be conscientious of the legislation of where you're going. A lot of people got cheap power in Washington State, Canada. Uh, the towns changed their minds. They wanted to charge cryptocurrency miners more money. Uh, so they did not honor it. You need to think of states or locations that will protect you through the laws and maybe not classify you as somebody else that makes extra money. Uh, the next lesson I want to teach you, number four, after you have your infrastructure and everything in place, you know, these power bills and all of this is going to eat into your profit. Guys, go to solar. Solar is going to be the way to go. Solar, maybe even some wind, some hybrid technology. Um, you really are going to need to if you want to get serious about cryptocurrency mining and you really want to do this right, you need to control everything from the location of where it's being done to the power that is being consumed in there. I know it's a large tail to put in a lot of money into solar, but guys, to do this right, they're two separate businesses. You need to have the money to go and put, in, and put infrastructure into solar. Solar will ROI in seven years. That's a whole nother business. You can look it up. You can buy it, invest into a whole solar farm, and sell it back to the grid or several other different setups, and it will pay for itself in six to seven years. That's pretty industry standard. In crypto, crypto now will pay for itself anywhere from six months, or like this crypto winter, it could be three years before you pay for your hardware. Um, so these are things to consider. But if you don't actually have to pay your power bill, and let's say that you're generating your own power, and you're selling it to yourself at a modest rate, say you give yourself a little bit of a lesser rate, it might take you eight years uh, or so to get your money back out of the solar. The solar has a 30 to 50 year, excuse me, 30 year warranty with a 50 year life expectancy. Uh, so within the first 10 years, your farm can pay for itself, you can have all the power generation you need, and you can have the land and the infrastructure. I know I'm talking about a lot more cost, but again, if you want to do this right, guys, this is what you need to consider. Consider owning the ground that everything is in, the building that it's in, and your most expensive cost of your material, which is power. So. Hope that is some really good food for thought, guys, as you're considering building your own mining center. I do think that these are great ideas. I think this is definitely something 
that people can do and be very profitable on as the future goes. Sometimes uh, you can be too early. Uh, with us, you know, we may have actually been too early with the crypto winter. We got six months of a great time, but then we got two and a half years of some rough times. So knowing the historical patterns for Bitcoin and crypto, you need to plan around that. You need to know that you could have three years of depression time in crypto. So you want to think six year time frames instead of the three year time. With Verus, the possibilities are endless. Verus is building the future of a decentralized, self-sovereign, quantum-ready private ID and global currency that is ready for the world. It's your identity upgrade for a digital world. It's Verus ID. Download the free software at Verus.io and register your Verus ID today. So even though you're thinking six-year time frames, you may want to even beef it up maybe to seven or eight because, again, history does repeat itself. But as you're thinking about building one of these centers, and I was using past history and trying to account for that, you know, I never seen anything much worse than a year, a year and a half of downturn. But Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies were still very, very young. So these are definitely things to keep in mind and consider as you are planning out your facility. So, all right, guys, I hope this video was very helpful for you. And I'm going to be posting some other videos on is it worth using an air conditioning system? Uh, does it make sense to use an air conditioning system? Where do you live? What are the differences? Um, the power infrastructure and along with a few other tips. So stay tuned, guys. If you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. Talk to you guys later on. See you. Bye.